mums. Little, little, little tiny uh, kittens. Excuse me. His name Felatio, is Felatio. Yes, yes. Sorry. That's called splitting the focus from off stage. Right. Good right. split. That's right. All right. And uh, furthermore, number one, there is no smoking. Number two, there is no smoking. Number three, there is no smoking. <laughs> well, I mean, there is, of course. It's not that we're saying that there is no smoking. Obviously, people are smoking somewhere. At this time. Rick has a stand up and sit in the rule. It's not really a rule, it's sort of like a bylaw. So right. it's just a thing. So, well, I'm going to start with the rules. Start with the rules, and uh, I hope you uh, are there. Are there any questions? Any questions? That was fine. No, no, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, there's one more rule. Wait, there's one more rule. Oh, wait, it's just a rule. Oh, 
Oh, Molly! Ah. Jeez, this is very painful. Okay. You can imagine how it is from down here. But I am studying under Stanislavski. By the good sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and me. Why is the rule? That's the rule! Just don't forget the words! Take it away! Carry me, carry me out! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the Svolza Theater. Here we are at Poppenstrad, ready to rock and roll. Would you please welcome that lovable team of Chip Bray and Rick Perez! <laughs> Oh, the Pop and Straw Theater, yes. We're here My name's Chip, and this is Rick. Hi, Rick. Well, hi. We've actually... We, we, know, we, we met actually know each other, but we're not telling it for the people we can. Here. Some people like to see introductions, okay. and just for people who do... Let's try to get... Hi, I'm Chip. And I'm Rick. Together, we're... Chicken Rip. Chicken Rip. <laughs> oh, I see. The starting the show really is not me talking. It's actually just me moving the mic. Boy, oh boy, I'm enjoying this show already. You know, I don't even think this mic is on. Why did I need this mic? Uh, because... Uh, you want the mic. You want the mic. Okay. Okay, buddy. All right, just a second. I'm not done. You know, some of us are professional in moving the mics. Just a second. Don't rush me with the mic thing. Take your right. time. I'm not ready yet. No, you see, you were going to rush me, and then I would have to do something, and I wouldn't be prepared, so... Don't let me get in your way. No, no. Why should you get in my way? All right. So, let's see. Let's see. The ship is going to talk, so that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Like that, sure, short and stubby, uh, okay, just the way they like them, all right. Mm -hmm. So this mic is not, uh, is it in the way still? That's fine, buddy. Is that fine? Okay. Now am I giving an introduction to you? Uh, I believe so. Oh, that's right, I am. That's right. <laughs> this is very informal, so just relax, okay. I mean, you, everybody is relaxed here, huh? <laughs> all right, forget about it. <laughs> that hair hey, must have taken a lot out of you, okay. Hippity hip. Hey! No, I'm great. Uh, it's like, you know, let's pace ourselves. Just about ready, buddy. Are you ready? Because I'm uh, just about to tell an old, kind of an old Jewish folklore tale. Uh, are you ready? I, I've been ready for about 15 minutes. Oh, you've been. Good, okay. And that's the way it was. Then he lost his head, and uh, that was the end of that. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great privilege. It's an honor. It's, uh, I, I mean, I'm in shock. I'm totally in shock, uh, because the, the next gentleman I'm about to introduce is a, a brilliant, brilliant politician. Uh, well, you know the Euro is coming into effect and various things, and, well, he has a few things he would like to say about it. Uh, whether he says it tonight is another story. But uh, he is uh, presently running for the presidency of Europe. Uh, he's, uh, he's, Bel he's from Belgium. Where else should he be from? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, just, a, as I say, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for us all to meet the politician of the next millennium. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacques Brie. <laughs> You don't, you don't, don't force it. Don't force it. Don't well, force it. No, you are forcing it. You're forcing it. No, no, not that way. Not that way. The small hands. The small hands first. No, no. Give me, give me, give me this thing. Just give me this thing. Just, give me, just give, get your hands off. My hands are off. Don't do it. No, I can't put it in the hole. You have the microphone. Give me the microphone. Okay, go ahead. Well, you have it in the other hand. You have it in the other hand. Just get rid of it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, you're ready now. Fine. 
You're not ready. I don't care what you do with that. You're not going to speak into the wire. Forget about it. You're not speaking into... I'm not. No, 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 See, I hadn't, I was, no, 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 now it's, I know how to speak, no, you don't, you don't, no, no, it's not good, it's not good, no, 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 I know how to do it. All right, I will see the city here, okay, wait, no, 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 okay, look, 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 why don't we just, what, it feels better, it feels better, can I just, can I just set this up properly for you, see, I wish you would know what you're doing, I, I don't, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, I'm just, now I just have my doubts about you. That's okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay for you, or you want it a little bit higher? A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Is this okay? Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay. Now I'll just go fly away. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> check the running order first. Uh, fly. We gotta fly. <laughs> gotta fly. Um. I. Uh, yeah. You're so skinny. Look at you. What happened, doctor? You lost. Oh, no, you're not the doctor. <laughs> oh, I got Jack Briitis. Oh, no. Doctor? Yes. Do oh, doctor? Yes. Doctor? Yes. Doctor? <laughs> doctor? Yes, yes. Doctor, are you hiding from me? Yes, doctor? Yes, yes, doctor? Yes, doctor? Yes. Doctor? This audition is driving me crazy. Oh, God, I, mean, I can't believe it. I mean, how many idiots do I have to audition for today? How many has it been? 50? 60? 75? People with absolutely no talent going, I love you, you talent. What do you do? I sing. Were you having a company? No, no. Yeah, sure, okay, that's fine. Maybe one. But 50? 60? 75 people with me? Where did they get this music from? Is there someone back and someone outside my theater selling it? Hey, you want the audition music for the show? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that. You gotta close your, have your eyelids real heavy. <laughs> yeah, the director is crazy about it. Ziggy Stardust, that's me. Ziggy Stardust, world's greatest theater director. Sure, look at me. Look at me. I'm reduced to, into, to auditioning people. And uh, well, it's quite a nice theater. Quite nice. I'm okay, I have a nice red shirt on. I thought that would be enough, but no, not enough. It doesn't seem to grant other people. All right, Monica, why don't you send out the last person? I'm pleased that the last person I don't even know. Let me see, let me get my notes. Uh, Hello? Number 127. What's 127? I don't know what 127 did that mean. I don't know what. Are you 127? I'm sorry, I can't see you, but very good. Hello, it's you. I'm going to the audition room. It's I'm here. I'm sorry, here. I'm sorry, I cannot see the audition room. What is the problem here? What I'm is looking it? for the audition room. Let me audition. help you out here. I'm looking for the audition room. Oh, look, it's Ziggy oh, Stardust. Oh, God almighty. Oh, God. It's a Stardust. Very good to see you. Oh, it's a great director. You're a very good director. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm coming to audition for your dinner show. I like it very much. Just I'm just going to talk to me first. I, yeah, I, I want to ask you some questions. Okay, right now. I'm, I'm just going to sit down right now. You have to talk to me. All right, go ahead. Oh, the whole Jamal, Jamal. Uh, look, just pretend I'm not here. Just uh, like you were doing, like you were performing for people. Okay, okay? I'm performing. Nice. Right, so like, in fact, let's not even. You're not even on stage. I'm, you're not, right? I'm not very nervous. Not nervous. Okay, because oh, I feel right. Like, you know, you can be. Jamal, I don't know. I'm playing the guitar. Okay, okay. you play the guitar, that would be great. I'm playing guitar. We'll just watch. We'll pretend we're not even here. Don't be here. Don't be here. Okay. I like it so far. And I'm, I'm <laughs> concentrating. Okay, I'm ready to play now. No, go ahead. I'm thinking. It's not quite coming out. Well, all right. If you maybe need some moments, go ahead. Just let me know. Let me know when you're ready. Right. Hello. No, you're not ready yet. I'm talking to Annette, not you. I'm talking to what Annette. Annette. Who's Annette? Annette, the theater director here. No. Well, Annette is not the theater director. <laughs> what, now what? Am I what? Am I some sort of transvex, transsexual or something? Now what's the deal? 
Well, maybe I didn't think he started with very strange man. Just know. look, just look, Jamal, just just give it to us, okay? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and I have a little problem with this. <laughs> Jamal. It's a technical problem. Look, Jamal, look. <coughs> it's, it's, hard. it's not that difficult. All well, you have to Tell that to the Well maybe you need did you need your book open or something? No, I don't need a book open. No, I did I memorized it. Oh yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> I had a little technical problem. Yes, I can see that. I got it under control. Okay, fine. That'll be fine. Relax. After you've had a hard day because you're home, and you can relax your foot on your favorite robe, and before you know it, you're all relaxed, aren't you? Yeah, sure, I'm relaxed. <laughs> I'm just totally relaxed. Oh, look at me! <laughs> Perfectly relaxed. <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I relaxed now. Yes, sirree. <laughs> mm, yeah. Wait a minute. I have a tape. I have that relaxing tape. And that guy, where, where did he give it to me? On the cassette machine. Let's see, what I have it here? Yeah. Oh, fantastic, just in time. Ah, oh, great. Oh. Nothing wrong with her. It's just that she's not in the mirror. I was in the mirror. Oh, so that's where you want to be, in the mirror. No, no, I was in the mirror at that moment. I stood in front of the mirror. When I move away from the mirror, I'm not in the mirror anymore. Why aren't you in the mirror? Well, I'm not in the mirror because I'm obviously sitting down relaxing. Trying to relax. Just trying to relax. So just forget about the football, will you? Well, I mean, it's great because I was wondering if Herman Broad's going to be singing at the opening day ceremony. <laughs> Herman Broad? What about the neighbor with the big tits? That's what we're thinking about. Uh-uh, we're thinking about football. The neighbor. Football. The neighbor. Football. The neighbor. Shut up! No, 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 not at all. No, no, I didn't ask you to come. I never asked you to come, no, uh. Oh, so you never asked us to come. You really know how to hurt a guy. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I just want to feel good. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not going to make me look particularly good if I go around and, and, and say there are people in my, inside my head. I mean, sure, that would really make me look good. Well, then you achieve your goal. <laughs> What do you mean, I would achieve my goal? Yeah, you'd finally look good. I was being sarcastic. I mean, what, what do you think I am? <coughs> Crazy or something? <coughs> I said, what do you think I am? Crazy or something? Looking around. You know, before I was a performer, uh, well, I've done a lot of different things in my life. My God, I... I don't really want to get into it, it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, one of the interesting things that I did, uh, I had a summer job once, and uh, I was actually, well, how do I put it, uh, I was a substitute butcher. Um, well, okay, look, to, to tell you what a substitute butcher is, it, it's like a substitute teacher. You know, I mean, a butcher is working and working, and, and, and butchers get sick just like everybody else. But, you know, why close the butcher shop down? I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, there's business, there's money to be made. So I get a call, you know, uh, or people would go on holiday, and in fact, uh, this is one of these uh, incidents that I want to tell you about, because this happened, as I say, a few years ago. Uh, a guy went on holiday, Bob, a friend of mine, and he said, uh, Rick, why don't you come out and, you know, and, uh, just do your thing, you do your substitute butcher thing, because uh, I'm very good with knives and uh, things like that. <laughs> uh, well, not that I fool around with knives so much, I, I, mean, I like to sharpen them and <laughs> sort of crazy things like that, you know. But, uh, you know, and, and I, I like to cut meat, uh, which is a nice thing to do with knives. You know, just 
you know, not living meat, of course, but just you know, meat, then that just makes me a butcher. So, okay, I'm at Bob's Butcher Shop. And I'm having a fine time. I'm chopping things up, loins and things like that. I don't even know where I'm cutting. I'm just going wild, you know, blood surging everywhere. <laughs> you know, you got those aprons. Who cares? So I'm doing that, and a woman walks in, and she looks at me, and she goes, hmm, how are you? I said, well, uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm Rick. Uh, I'm your substitute butcher. Uh, how can I help you? Where's Bob? <laughs> well, Bob's on holiday. Uh, that's why I'm here as your substitute butcher. Can you know, what's your what's your pleasure? I want a German duck. A German duck. I thought to myself, a German duck. What the heck's a German duck? German duck of duck from Germany. I knew the ducks were downstairs with the rest of the poultry, so I went downstairs. Boom. I opened up the freezer, got a duck out, looked at it, said it looks like a good German duck, came upstairs, put it on the counter, boom, there you go, lady, German duck. She did a really strange thing. She grabbed one leg with one hand. She grabbed the other leg with the other hand. She ripped the duck open, looked down its butthole, and said, Mmm, that's not a German duck. That's a Portuguese duck. I want a German duck. So I apologized. I said, I'm sorry, I... <laughs> Guess the Portuguese duck must have been next to the German duck. I'll just go get you that German duck right away. So I went downstairs. Boom, 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 boom. I opened up the freezer again, picked up another duck, looked at it, looked okay to me, closed the freezer, came up the stairs again. Boom, 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 boom. Put the, put the duck back on the counter. Boom. There you go, lady, German duck. She grabbed one leg with one hand. She grabbed the other leg with the other hand. She ripped the duck open, looked down its butthole, went, mm, that's not a German duck. That's an English duck. I told you I want a German duck. Well, I was beginning to get a little bit aggravated a bit, you know, <coughs> running up and down the stairs again, but I knew I had to please the customer, so I went down the stairs again. I opened up the freezer, picked up another duck, took the duck, closed the door, boom, came up the stairs again. Put the duck back on the counter. Boom. There you go, lady, German duck. She grabbed one leg with one hand. She grabbed the other leg with the other hand. She ripped the duck open. She looked down the butt hole and went, Meow. That's not a German duck. That's a Belgium duck. What's going on here? You know, I wouldn't have this problem with my old butcher. Where are you from, anyway? And I turned around and said, You tell me, lady. <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, I guess you are probably wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> something like this. Uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was getting kind of bored with my job and uh, so I uh, signed up for a, a course uh, in uh, how to be a daredevil. <laughs> because I wanted a bit more excitement in my life. Excitement. And uh, I'm not a fully qualified daredevil yet. <coughs> In fact, I'm a, I'm what they know as a, a dit, D-I-T, dit. I, I'm a daredevil in training. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, they, uh, this is part of my, I guess they call it the stager uh, kind of deal. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought there would be somebody with me, but they, 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 they could be here, but they're invisible. So. Uh, I won't even talk about the invisible because I think we talked about the invisible people before we had enough about those invisible people. So uh, I'd uh, just get started then, shouldn't I? <laughs> With some daredevil acts. <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, we'll just get all set here. With the. Uh, that doesn't really work very well. So we'll just. Uh, well, maybe we should take this off and uh, we'll put this on. There we go. Now I feel like a real daredevil. Ship! Ben, wait a minute. It's Kip. No, no, not yet, because I am.
am waiting for my applause. Not yet. I know I don't deserve that much, but you can give me a little bit as I exit backstage. I'm a glass. No, no, don't start. Don't you start. <laughs> I don't want these people to have any initiation but from their own sex. My okay. mistake. My mistake. Your mistake. Okay. Just a little mistake. Just a little mistake. Don't let's make a whole big thing out. <laughs> so with that, I will say fond de deux. Don't forget not to call me. Okay. <laughs> and thank you very much. I'll see you next time in another life. <laughs> strange customs here we do with both hands but now move slowly up and down you want me to move my hands slowly up and down on my groin area fast if you like it does wait oh please please friend, please i think i feel something here you're not the only one no no I think <laughs> that 
that is some horse, please. I feel something, my God. Can you hold that, please? Uh, yes, easily. <laughs> Oh my God. What is this? Oh, oh God, it cannot be. Bobby? It cannot be. Bobby, what could it be? It cannot be. Yeah. It is here. What is it, Bobby? A volunteer. A volunteer? <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You have just won a trip to Hollywood. <laughs> See what happens if you want to be a volunteer? Now this man is on the brink of a new career because we're here in Hollywood for a screen test. That's right, General Bray Studios are very pleased and privileged to present to you a screen test. And ladies and gentlemen, if you could give all the support that you have to this man, because as I say, he is on the brink of a new career. Next week, you might see him in Popeye 15. Is he ready? He's ready. Quiet. And all the support we can possibly give him. Where is me Buccaneers? On the New York Buccaneers hat! was in the Cup of Soup Strikers campaign. <laughs> yeah, we can take Cup of Soup much farther. I mean, we workers of the union, we gotta, we gotta unite ourselves and motivate. At four o'clock, all we need is Cup of Soup. No coffee, no tea, Cup of Soup. No more bad bosses launching us into the ceiling like that.